Hello everybody and welcome back. If you're new around here, my name's Jack. This cute guy over here is Frank and that weirdo there is Joe. Two months ago, we quit our jobs with the aim of traveling around Europe in our converted Sprinter van. And with COVID kicking off, we quickly packed up this van and headed onto the Euro Tunnel, making our way down to sunny Spain. Click subscribe and follow us along on these wild journeys. Hey! Whee! After two days of long drives through France, we yeah. finally arrived in Spain and in Barcelona for our first stop. Um, we're going to explore the city for the next two days because it's someone's birthday weekend. She's uh, 22 and going strong. Quite old now. <laughs> um, we're not going to do anything too touristy because we actually lived here for six months. So we've done all, you know, you can go to Sagrada Familia, Gaudi's Gardens and things like that. But is it Gaudi's Gardens? It's know. not. No. It's the Scotch part. We're literally just here to eat, walk around the Gothic Quarter and walk along the beach. It's a balmy four, 14 degrees. We're staying on a camper van air because we heard about all these scare stories around, you know, people breaking into your van. It's actually quite good. But yeah, let's get into the city and probably get a little bit day drunk. <laughs> uh, sorry. Just excited to be back in Barcelona, you know. Hands down, the best place to visit in Barcelona if you're short on time is the Gothic Quarter. It has endless amounts of alleyways to walk down, amazing bars to drink at, lots of great food, including lots of great vegan food. And the best bit about Barcelona as a city, the fact that it's so close to a beach. Good fest. Good to be back in Barcelona, birthday girl. So good. Love Barcelona. <laughs> Love everything about it. It is the best city in the world. It's got a beach. <laughs> All right. So after two awesome days in Barcelona celebrating Joe's birthday, we're now gonna not slowly because we need to be in Malaga for Christmas, and that's in about three days. Um, so we're gonna drive down the coast of Spain on the Mediterranean coast, um, stopping off along the way. I think we've got kind of three to four hours of driving a day, um, and then we're just gonna stop at a beach. Um, well, hopefully a beach spot and wild camp as we make our way down to Malaga. But yeah. These Spanish roads were a dream to drive down. Fairly empty, with views towards the sea and plenty of mountain escapes along the way. We were headed to Cabo de Gata National Park, following a drunken conversation with a waiter in Barcelona. On the southeastern corner of the Spanish coast, we split the journey into two days of driving, looking forward to a place we were promised had warm weather, nature, beaches and wildlife. Our kind of place. Yeah, so there's no, no, no overnight parking here, but we can park here for the day and then there was quite a lot of campers parked in a parking lot outside of the National Park, so we'll probably just go there yeah. at night. But yeah, check this out for the day. Oh, and it's super hot. Like 18, 19 degrees. Beautiful. Good spot for a coffee, Joe. Look at that. God, that's relaxing. Good morning. We had a lovely night's sleep. It's nice and warm. Um, we just stayed up the hill from the beach. Actually, not allowed to stay on the beach, but it's quite nice here. few of vans but now young Frank is demanding that we go back to the beach so that we can throw a ball and have breakfast I mean sound pretty reasonable to us right Frank I think we're just gonna sit around have some coffee and breakfast and we want to go to the beach straight away does that sound good to you oh wait did you want to go into the beach straight away fine because you're crying and whining about it we can <laughs> my god I'll come and get him. <laughs> 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 
Go then. This is what we've been waiting for, I think. A nice beach park up. Some amazing weather, warm enough for shorts, and it's only eight o'clock in the morning. Oh. Just some peace and quiet and wildness. Bloody nice. So we're in uh, this national park. It's the driest uh, landscape in the whole of Europe. Um, and it basically just looks like the outback or the desert. And we're going to go for a walk and have a look at some viewpoints of some old rock formations. I think there's like a dormant volcano as well. But yeah, let's go check it out. You lost your keys, haven't you? Do you leave them in the ignition again? So Joe's got an injured foot um, from a freak badminton accident a few weeks ago. Well, a month ago actually. So it's just going to be me and Frank on this little walk. But yeah, we're going to explore the coastline a little bit um, and see a bit more of the natural park before we move on to Malaga. Come on, Frank, let's go. Some pretty cool views. The weather's a bit grey, so it doesn't look as amazing um, as I've seen in pictures, but still pretty cool. I'm going to get my drone up and have a bit of a fly um, and check out these rock formations from the air. Beautiful. I also want to go to this guy here. It's the beauty of having a drone. You want to fly it to the weirdest rocks out there. And that guy's screaming out for a drone flight. From up high you can see how barren the landscape of this national park is. It's the driest landscape in Europe. The rock formations consist of eroded volcanic rock formed thousands or millions of years ago. And from up here you can really see how barren but also beautiful the coastline and mountains are. We'd really recommend you go see this with your own eyes. It was a really beautiful deserted place. Nice little adventure. It was literally like a desert out here. Well, obviously because it's one of the driest places in Europe, but really cool. Lots of cool plants, really cool rock formations. Nice for scrambling. Yeah. Oh, definitely shorts weather. I'm not sure it's fleece weather though. Oh, I think we're gonna go back to the van, find Joe, and then go for a swim. Woo! Boom! Oh, look at me. Hello. Oh. Yeah. We actually went up to that cave bit. We could see your van from. We could see the van from here. We. Uh, you definitely wouldn't have let us go up there. Not let us. You would. You would have advised against going up there. Not up that rock. Yeah, we went right to the top as well. <laughs> He's like a mountain goat. Yeah. No. Like, you wouldn't, like, it's ridiculous. Put my drone. It's heating up, blue skies are coming out. Get <laughs> I mean, I said I was going for a swim, but now you let the cat out of the bag. No, right, <laughs> should we go for a swim? Yeah. Uh, and a nudie one. So we made our way out of the National Park. Uh, Cabo de Gata had one last surprise for us in the form of some flamingos, just chilling there by the side of the road. Which is pretty awesome, especially for birds like me and Joe. Mountains, awesome beaches, peace and quiet. A happy dog. Happy dog. Happy Jack and Joe. Let's carry on driving though, because it's getting warm. Cheers for watching, everybody. As you can see, one of us made it for the nudie swim. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel as part two of our trip to Spain will be live shortly. And make sure to follow us on Instagram too, where we're active daily. Thanks again and catch you on the next adventure. Peace.
much alcohol. <laughs> It's your birthday, though. 